to the book of Habakkuk. Hallelujah. The book of Habakkuk. Hallelujah. Habakkuk chapter 1. We're going to read a couple verses. Habakkuk is a small book. So we'll be reading a few verses here and there. Are you praying with me? We need to hear what thus said the Lord. Habakkuk chapter 1, verses 1 through 6. We'll read that responsively, and then I'll guide you through the next um, verses. Amen? Amen. So Abaca chapter 1, verse 1, amen? amen? If you're able to stand, stand with me in the house today. Amen? In honor of the word of God. Amen. The burden which Abaca the prophet did see. Why dost thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance and spoiling and violence for before me, are before me and there are that raise up strife and contention. Behold he among the heathen, and regard, and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days, which he will not believe, though it be told you. Now let's jump over to chapter 2, verses 1 through 4, and I'll pick up and you'll follow after me. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and, sh and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. I'm going to jump over to chapter 3, verses 1 to 2. A prayer of Habakkuk the prophet upon she go not. And finally, down to chap uh, to verse sixteen of chapter three. When I heard, my belly trembled, my lips quivered at the voice. Rottenness entered into my bones. And I trembled in myself that I might rest in the day of trouble. When he cometh up unto the people, he will invade them with his troops. Come on, pick up verse 17. Yet will I, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Let me read it again. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Altogether, verse 19. The Lord God is my strength. And he will make my feet like hind's feet 
and he will make me to walk upon mine high places to the chief singer on my string instruments. Bow your head with me where you are in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for this, your word. We thank you for being the mighty God that you are. We thank you, oh God, that you are God whose eyes are not closed. We thank you that your ears are not shut, that they cannot hear our cries. We thank you that your hands and it's not sure that it cannot save. And Lord God, we lift you up today. We magnify you because you are God. Despite our situation today, oh God, we lift you up and give you the praise and the honor that is due unto you. And right now, oh God, I call you, hallelujah, into this moment for this time. My God, to anoint, hallelujah, your mates servant uh, in the name of Jesus anoint my lips that it will deliver what you say oh God not of myself uh, but what you have to say to us today let your divine will be done my God uproot today uh, everything that's not like you uh, and tear down every stronghold uh, and everything that stand and rise up against you uh, we bring it down and bring it in subjection to you today. In the name of Jesus, you may be seated in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm not going to go through the long introduction today. Hallelujah. Because uh, the time is uh, far gone. But today, uh, I want to just take the time to honor God. And to magnify him. Because he is God and God all by himself. I do want to give honor to the pastor and his wife in their absence. Amen. I do want to give honor to our elders here today. Everyone, if you're in your respective places, truly, it is a privilege to be in the house and to be before you one more time. I don't take coming before God's people for granted. So I have sought the Lord. Hallelujah. About what it is that I should bring to his people. I thank God for this opportunity. Amen. Hallelujah. Just to come one more time. Hallelujah. As you heard, I emphasized when we read, hallelujah, the um, verse 18. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Amen. And we heard Elder before he did the blessing today. Hallelujah. That one of the first things uh, that the devil seeks to attack is our praise. Uh, amen. And sometimes, hallelujah, the enemy is successful. Hallelujah. But it should not be that way. Amen. So today, if I were to leave with you a thought, uh, hallelujah, it would be, uh, yet I will rejoice. Uh, hallelujah to God. Now you got to say that to yourself uh, because it's not something that somebody can do for you. Uh, it has to be something that you make up in your mind uh, because of what I know about my God uh, and my Savior. Hallelujah to God. Uh, now I'm going to go through a little bit of history, hallelujah, uh, just so you can understand where we are going, uh, hallelujah to God, so we see the situation uh, that Habakkuk, and I thank God for my sister, Sister Grant, uh, how she talked about us talking to the Lord uh, on Sunday night, if you were here, you heard, uh, hallelujah, how when you have an intimate relationship uh, with God, you can go to him. Him, uh, and you can talk to him uh, just like when you pick up the phone and talk to your friends uh, because after all uh, he said he'll be your friend uh, glory be to God so we see uh, that Habakkuk the prophet uh, he had a relationship with God uh, and because he had a relationship with God, uh, we see, hallelujah, uh, that he saw the burden of his people. Uh, my God. Uh, but I want you to understand something. Uh, Habakkuk saw the burden of Judah. Uh, and so when I thought about that thing, uh, I 
say, God, then what it is, what is it uh, that you want me to understand from this? Uh, so I decided to do some research. Uh, and when I went into the book of Genesis, uh, Genesis chapter 28 and 35, uh, my God, we see, uh, hallelujah, we look at Leah, just hold on for a little bit. Uh, we look at Leah, uh, glory be to God, uh, and we saw how Leah was mistreated. Uh, I'm not going to go into all of it today because you know what? Uh, I have an appointment at 2 o'clock today. Uh, if I didn't have an appointment, uh, I might just go into it. Uh, but I come to give you what thus said the Lord. Uh, so we saw the story with Leah, uh, and we saw the story with Rachel. Uh, my God, and when Leah had her first three children uh, we saw just how she felt about them uh, my God the first one uh, she said that God has seen uh, my affliction uh, and so leading up to the fourth one uh, who was Judah uh, oh Lord uh, when Leah when Judah was born uh, my God uh, Leah said uh, now uh, will I praise God uh, I want you to hold on there uh, my God uh, so what are you saying to me uh, nowadays when people give their babies names uh, it doesn't really have much relevance uh, but I want to tell you something uh, back then uh, every child that was named uh, there was a relevance uh, understand uh, that Judah uh, being the fourth uh, of the twelve tribe of Israel uh, hallelujah uh, there was a purpose uh, that Leah did not see uh, but Leah knew enough uh, my God uh, when Judah uh, comes forth uh, I will praise God uh, glory be to God uh, I'm trying to take my time. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, so we see Judah. Now, did you keep, you keep that in your mind? Uh, what I just said. Uh, when Judah comes forth, uh, you will praise God. Uh, uh, glory be to God. Uh, does anybody uh, have Judah? Uh, hallelujah. Uh, the ancestor uh, of Judah uh, in their soul today. Uh, my God, uh, when Judah uh, comes forth, uh, I shall praise him. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, so we see, we see Judah's life. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, see, um, everything, just like it is with you and I, uh, everything doesn't go quite as planned. Uh, so we look at Judah. And when we look at Judah, we go over into chapter 37 of Genesis. Just trying to show you a little bit of history. Because sometimes you feel that because you don't messed up, hallelujah to God, that you can't praise God. Hallelujah. Now, I'm not trying to tell you, hallelujah, that God condones sin. But what I'm trying to tell you is that when you recognize, hallelujah, who you are. Uh, and you know your identity uh, and you know what you've been called to do uh, my God uh, so we see Judah uh, it's the same Judah uh, in Genesis 37 uh, my God uh, you know when they were all mad uh, with Joseph because his daddy uh, gave him the colored coat uh, it was Judah uh, as the brothers sat down uh, to eat my God uh, they just stripped Joseph uh, off his colored coat uh, and threw him in a pit uh, my God uh, and uh, brother Reuben uh, being the oldest one uh, he said uh, hallelujah to God uh, just put him there uh, because the intention uh, was to go back uh, and get him for, to his daddy uh, my God uh, but Judah uh, Judah says uh, what good is it uh, my God uh, why don't we just take him uh, so the Ishmaelites uh, as they were going by uh, Judah uh, he took him just hold on people uh, don't get weary yet uh, they took 
took him, uh, my God, uh, and sold him uh, for 20 pieces of silver. Uh, now I'm talking about Judah. Now it's the same Judah. Hallelujah to God. Uh, when you pick up chapter 38 uh, of the book of Genesis, uh, the same Judah. Ah, uh, uh, Judah. Uh, hallelujah. Out of Judah, uh, a king shall rise. Uh, that same Judah uh, is the Judah. Uh, my God, after his wife died. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, hallelujah. The word says uh, as he go up to the sheep share uh, to share his sheep. Uh, my God. Uh, being comfort comforted uh, by the Adolamite. Uh, his name was Hira. Uh, and so as Judah went up with his friend Hira. Uh, my God. Uh, you know sometimes uh, you mean to do good. Uh, but evil is present. Uh, and Judah gave in. Uh, to the evil that rose up uh, in his spirit. Uh, now if you understand the story uh, Judah uh, he had three sons uh, one was Ur uh, Onan and Shelah uh, my God uh, and Judah when, when sh the, the word of God said uh, that Ur did evil uh, in the sight of God. Uh, so God killed Ur uh, and if you know how the, 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 uh, the, 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 the principles uh, and the laws of God. Uh, someone had to come uh, to perpetuate. Uh, hallelujah the line. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, so when Onan messed up. I can't do it all today. Uh, when Onan uh, decided uh, he ain't go hallelujah to God. Uh, allow a seed uh, to come forth uh, for his brother. Uh, he got killed too. Uh, my God. Uh, I'm just trying to show you uh, hallelujah to God uh, this Judah uh, I'm going somewhere uh, my God uh, so when when hallelujah uh, because uh, Tamar uh, who was Ur's wife uh, was promised uh, that she would get him uh, hallelujah to God uh, Sheila was promised uh, to Tamar uh, but in time uh, uh, Tamar uh, realized that Sheila uh, had been grown uh, and she still didn't have him yet. Uh, hallelujah to Mark. Uh, understood uh, that I've got to do something. Uh, now let me tell you something. Uh, two wrongs uh, don't make a right. Uh, my God. Uh, so the word of God said uh, that tomorrow uh, she took off uh, the who oh Lord. Uh, oh holy, holy ghost. Uh, she took off uh, her widowhood garment. Uh, my God. Uh, you better watch out uh, what you got in your house. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, and she put on uh, the garment of a harlot. Uh, I didn't come to tell you that. Uh, but the Holy Ghost says, uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, watch out uh, what you got in your house. Uh, my God. Uh, some of us uh, got some wrong stuff. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, so the word said. I'm just bringing you through the history really quickly. Give me some time. The word said, hallelujah, that Tamar, she got herself together, put on the harlot, veiled herself, hallelujah, and went out on the street. So Judah, as Judah was passing by, hallelujah, Judah went in to his daughter-in-law, Hallelujah. Y'all going to have to read this story. Hallelujah. And so Judah, what I'm trying to tell you, now we see, oh Lord, ah, there was something about Judah because Judah wanted, hallelujah, when he heard that Tamar was pregnant, hallelujah to God, hallelujah, he wanted Tamar to be burnt, hallelujah, but Tamar said, the owner of these stuff, hallelujah to God, that's the daddy, uh-huh, uh but there was something that you see in the scripture about Judah, that you didn't see about everyone. Judah acknowledged his wrongs. We wonder why. 
the tribe of Judah. Judah knew how to see his wrong. That's why we see David. Hatomashata. Hallelujah to God. Because if it was up to me and you, we would think differently about how this should be done. My God, so here I am now. And I've showed you Judah. My God. So now I get it to Habakkuk. And Habakkuk understood. Hallelujah to God. The power and prophecy of Judah. Uh, Habakkuk understood, uh, hallelujah to God, uh, what Judah uh, was supposed to do. Uh, so when Habakkuk, uh, hallelujah to God, uh, when he saw the things uh, that was happening around him, uh, when he saw the evil, uh, hallelujah to God, uh, when he saw the wickedness, uh, when he saw the idolatry, he said, how long shall I cry? How long must I cry? Oh God, is there anybody in the house today that is crying out to God because of the condition that you see around you? Is there anybody that is pouring out because you know hallelujah the promises of God because you know what is to be but you don't just see it yet is there anybody that has a burden down in their soul hallelujah to God because of the wickedness uh, that is happening around us. Uh, see, some folks uh, is getting caught up. Uh, what we going to do uh, in 2017? Uh, my God, uh, when Trump takes over. Uh, but is there anybody uh, that sees uh, the bigger picture? Uh, my God, uh, is there anybody? He said, I cry. Will thou not hear me? I'm crying out. Hallelujah. You feel like, you feel like your cry is not being heard. My God, my God. But God has an answer. It's just not in your time. Oh, my Shataya. It's just not in about your time. And it's not about what you expect. My God, for has a buck, huh? poured out his soul unto the Lord. Uh, my God, uh, do you see this violence? Uh, my God, uh, do you see how proud, uh, hallelujah, these people are? Uh, do you see how corrupt uh, this system is? Uh, can I get into present day? Uh, do you see uh, that prostitution uh, is taking over our streets? Uh, do you see uh, that homosexuality uh, has made its way to the pulpit. Uh, do you see, uh, my God, uh, that drugs uh, has taken over our streets? Uh, God, uh, do you see uh, all the criminal uh, activity uh, that's taking place uh, right in our back doors? Uh, my God, uh, so Habakkuk, uh, he poured out his soul uh, unto the Lord. Uh, is there anybody uh, that's got a burden? Uh, my God, uh, so as he poured out, uh, the Lord answered him. When he saw the idolatrous state of Judah, God answered him. <laughs> the only thing about it is that when God answered him, the answer that he got is far from what he would have ever imagined. My God, sometimes you're going to cry out to God 
and you're going to get it you're going to get an answer it's going to be far from what you ever imagine but can you trust him for God told Habakkuk ah these wicked Chaldeans ah the Chaldeans I'm talking about ah, the Babylonians ah, who means no good ah, who is more wicked ah, than my own people ah, my God ah, that's the people ah, that I'm going to use ah, to be a rock to my people Ah, my God, ah, ah, those of you ah, that's praying ah, and calling upon Jesus, ah, don't you think for a moment ah, that God ah, has not heard your cry? Ah, my God, ah, don't think for a moment ah, that God ah, has not heard the burden ah, of your heart. Ah, my God, ah, so when Habakkuk, ah, when he got the first answer, uh, he had to go back uh, before God. Uh, yes, God, uh, you are holy. Uh, you are righteous, God. Uh, how could a holy God uh, allow such people uh, to come against Israel, Judah? Uh, my God, uh, how can a God uh, as holy as he is uh, allow my situation uh, to be what it is uh, but I come to tell you uh, God hey, he's about to speak oh, I'm trying to do this fast so he told Habakkuk uh -huh, come on yes uh, come on write the vision Abaka say, let me go upon the wall. See, some of us, we're not in the place. We're asking God for stuff. We're trying to hear from him. But we're not at the right place to hear it. Ah, But God told him, ah, I want you to write it. Come on. Ah, for the vision. It's just for a moment. But there is something that he said. I see the writing. But he told the bucker, you better go before God. And make sure you got it plain. Make sure it is clear. Make sure it is God. My God. So he said, make it plain. That they that run. When them footmen came. Comes. They gotta be able to see it. And know that it's God. My God. When God. Make it plain. There won't be any doubt. He told my shatter. He will remove the doubt. When God makes it plain, hallelujah to God, the doubt will be removed. My God. So then we see, ah, chapter two. I'm trying to walk through it. It's just three chapters. And I'm trying to do it real quick. My God. So Abaka, hallelujah to God. My God said, and I come to tell you people, just like God told Abaka what God is doing. He's got an appointed time. Hallelujah to God. You ever showed up for your appointment and it's the wrong date or the wrong time. Time, huh? Dr. Hallelujah, huh? Dr. Oos huh? ain't gonna see you huh? till it's the right time. Huh? My God, huh? God huh? has an appointed time huh? for everything huh? under the sun. Huh? Hallelujah to God. Huh? And God said, huh? what I'm gonna do, huh? hallelujah to God, huh? it's gonna be powerful. Huh? And everyone uh, that sees uh, what I do, uh, they will know. Hey, Boshata, without a doubt uh, that it is me. Uh, my God. Uh, so this is where we see in verse 4. Uh, 
Hallelujah to God. Uh, God told him, uh, Hallelujah, because Abaka is concerned. Uh, well, the Babylonians are already proud. Uh, they're going to get even more big headed. Uh, my God. Uh, but God let him see, honey. Uh, Abaka, take your time. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, for the just uh, shall live uh, by faith. Uh, we hear Paul and we hear, Hallelujah to God. Uh, others. Uh, hallelujah. They got a caught a word uh, that the just uh, shall live uh, by faith. That's because uh, God spoke to Habakkuk uh, and he recognized uh, hallelujah to God uh, after a while uh, the enemy must come down uh, after a while uh, only those uh, that stand uh, on the Lord's side uh, is going to make it uh, after a while, uh, when God comes in with his mighty hand. So we see, uh, hallelujah to God, how Abaka, my God, he took the time uh, to enumerate, uh, hallelujah to God, uh, the experiences uh, of Israel, uh, how God met them uh, at Mount Sinai. Uh, sometimes uh, you've got to take the time uh, and go back uh, and think about uh, your Mount Sinai uh, experience. Uh, so he went down uh, and he hallelujah to God. Uh, he referenced, uh, he remembered uh, how God uh, delivered Israel uh, through the Red Sea. Uh, sometimes uh, you've got to look back uh, at your Red Sea uh, experience uh, how God uh, brought you through. Uh, where am I, what am I saying to you? Uh, my God. Uh, and after uh, a buck uh, look back uh, at the mighty hand of God. Uh, he said, God, uh, in my soul, uh, it's trembling. Uh, there's a groaning uh, in my bone uh, when I think uh, of the goodness uh, of Jesus. Uh, and then I think uh, of the power uh, of God. Uh, I can only uh, acknowledge him. So here we are. This is the wrap up piece now. So now we get down and after Abaka had his conversation with God and God gave him his answers. Yes. Yes. Uh, see what happened when the Babylonian came in. Hallelujah. They were going to destroy everything. Hallelujah to God. Food and everything else. So that's why they were going to, first of all, they were eating up the stuff. Glory be to God. Mistreating the people of God. Hallelujah to God. Because God would command them to do that. So this is why uh, Habakkuk knew uh, that I've got one thing to hold on to. Uh, my God, uh, ah, this, hallelujah, this land uh, will be invaded uh, in a matter of time. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, but hear what it says. Uh, Oh, glory. Uh, though the fig tree uh, shall not blossom. Oh, Kobashata. Is there anybody? Uh, though the fig tree uh, should not blossom. Uh, neither fruit uh, in the vines. Uh, hallelujah. Nor the labor uh, of the olive. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, shall fail. Uh, and fields uh, shall yield no meat. Uh, are you following with me? Uh, the flock uh, shall be cut off from the fold. Uh, and there shall be uh, no herd uh, in the stalls. Uh, my God, uh, it sounds to me uh, like everything uh, from up underneath me uh, 
is about to be cut off. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, and he went on. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, hallelujah. No livelihood. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, around me uh, is barrenness. Uh, oh Lord. Uh, is there anybody uh, in the house today uh, that can look uh, at the devastation uh, around you? Uh, can look uh, your situation uh, in the face? Uh, my God, uh, it looks bad. Uh, oh Lord, uh, but in the midst uh, of my situation, uh, I'm going to give God uh, the praise uh, that is due to him uh, in the midst uh, of my trials uh, I uh, will give God praise uh, in the midst uh, of my circumstances uh, I uh, will give God praise uh, could somebody uh, get a praise in your head uh, and a praise in your feet uh, think about uh, the goodness uh, of Jesus uh, and all uh, that is done Ha. Ah, it's not going good. It's not going good. Hallelujah to God. But when I look back over my life, ah mama shata, of all the things that God has done for me, my God, and see how he brought me out before. Elder, just look back uh, where God uh, has brought you from, uh, my God, uh, and in my right now uh, situation, uh, things ain't going uh, the way I want it to go, uh, my God, uh, but the same God, uh, hallelujah to God, uh, that did it before, uh, he's able uh, to do it again, uh, and because uh, I've got uh, the king, hallelujah, uh, of Judah, uh, hallelujah to God, uh, abiding in me. Uh, for when Abraham uh, called his sons uh, and blessed them, uh, mighty God, uh, Genesis 49, uh, he said, uh, the scepter uh, shall not uh, depart from Judah. Uh, he also said uh, that your people uh, shall praise you. Uh, does anybody uh, have a Judah praise? Uh, does anybody uh, know uh, we're God? Do you remember? Hallelujah. Hey, Moshata. To the ends of the word. Hey, uh, he shall be praised. Yomashata. Hallelujah to God. Some of you in this house today. Hallelujah. Uh huh. The enemy has got an attack on your praise. Hallelujah. I want to look at, look at um, when Habakkuk start. The word didn't tell us. Hallelujah. He was pouring out his heart. But then after he looked at the situation, glory be to God. He was on his high praise horse. Hallelujah to God. But when he took a look, another look at the situation. And somebody take another look uh, at your situation. Uh, oh my God. Uh, and I looked at that thing. Uh, oh God. And it took me uh, down in the Roman jail. Uh, oh God. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, the word of God tells me uh, that after Paul rebuked that demon. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, out of that young girl uh, that they took him. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, and they cast him uh, in prison. Uh, now they didn't just put him uh, in the regular prison. Uh, oh Lord. Uh, sometimes uh, God's going to cause uh, your situation uh, to be magnified. Uh, so that he uh, can be magnified. Uh, oh glory to God. Uh, they took him. Uh, they didn't just put him uh, at the front. Uh, before they took him, uh, they whipped them. Uh, he and Silas, uh, my God, uh, they stripped off their clothes. Uh, he more shut up. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, and when they got through, uh, they cast them in. 
All right. So they did all that. Just imagine. I just hear that. They had a bloody situation. And I didn't cuss. It was blooded up. Here, Moshata. My God. Blood. Come on. Come on. I want you to look. Look at Brother Paul. Look at Brother Silas. Ah, Ah, blood dripping. Just imagine pain. Shooting through their bodies. But my God, even in the midst, I don't know the temperature, but it couldn't have been that warm and cozy. My God. And they took them uh, and they threw them. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, and they had some wooden stuff uh, that they call stocks. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, and they put them on their feet uh, and bound them. Uh, just imagine. Uh, have you been through that situation? Uh, have you been through anything close? Uh, my God. Uh, but the word of God said uh, about midnight, uh, my God, uh, they started praying. I can't show my higher. Hallelujah. Y'all don't want to hear. Hallelujah. About midnight, they started praying. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Shut up. Woo. Oh, yeah, come on. Hey. Hey. Come on. About midnight, they started praying. My God, can you imagine? Oh, hallelujah to God. I got pain in my body. Oh. And then when they got through praying uh, and telling God, uh, I believe about his goodness uh, and his mercies towards them. My God, uh, my feet uh, is bound, uh, but from my lips, uh, I can utter a praise. Uh, is there anybody? Uh, that can give God a praise from your lips my God they said a praise hallelujah to God their situation did not dictate their praise my God they didn't keep their mouth quiet for the word said that the prisoners heard them uh, even though they were in the inner prison uh, somebody ought to hear you uh, giving God praise uh, when you're going through Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. the problem is some of us are like Paul before we go into jail some of us are like Paul and Silas before we're thrown in. As long as we see mighty works, miracles, we see miracles, we get a new job, we get a new car. I see, for it was a powerful thing when he cast out the demon and bring that demon in subjection. That's the thing. We can praise him before the prison experience. But is there anybody that have a praise? Yet, yet will I praise him from my prison walls. I'm going to praise him when I get my bad report. Hey, my I'm going to praise him when my husband walk out and leave. I'm going to praise him. 
praise him. When the kids ain't acting right. And I turn their back. I'm going to praise. Oh, my gosh. Oh. When it's all going bad. I'm laid off from my job. I don't see where the money is coming from. But I'm going to praise him. My situation looks barren. But I'm going to praise him. I don't see it yet. But I believe. Oh, you're more shut. That the just shall live by faith. So in my faith, because I don't see it, that's what it is, faith. I don't see it. I don't see it just yet. I don't see my new job yet. I've been believing God for a spouse. He didn't come yet. But before he gets here, I'm going to praise him. That when we get together and hard time comes, we could praise him together. My God, hallelujah to God. Sometimes you got to be like the sons of Korah. My God, they went to the sanctuary and they were burdened. My God, but I hear them cry out. So, why are thou so disquieted within me? So, why are you anxious? Do you not know God? Why are you so uneasy? God is present. Hallelujah to God. So he said, hope. Come on. Get up. Wipe off your knees. Look at what he's done before. <laughs> Ah, he's done it before he's able to do it again hope in God hope in God oh, hope in God hope in God For he is your present help. He is your present help, soul. In the time of trouble, he will not leave you or forsake you. Be comforted, soul. And when you remember what God has done, Praise him, for he is your strength. <laughs> he said, the Lord our God is our strength. He will make my feet <laughs> like hind's feet. I don't know if you know about the hind. 
but behind is the female deer. And that deer, those kind of deers, they lived in the mountains. And they can withstand all kinds of stuff. Hallelujah to God. That when you go through the rough terrain, and when you go through the rocky situations in your life, He's there to make your feet <laughs> like high speed that you can mount up <laughs> so he can bring you <laughs> to the high places. <laughs> the place in him where no harm can come to you. He will cause you to step above and to crush your enemy under your feet. For he'll give you feet like Heinz feet. Yet, well, I praise God. Saints, I encourage you today. Hallelujah to God. I encourage you today. Hallelujah to God. I've told you about Habakkuk. I told you about Paul and Silas. I told you about the sons of Korah. But I could tell you today about myself that I've tried God and I found him to be all right. If you praise God, can I just tell you just this month, hallelujah, no, last month. Y'all saw me last week. I couldn't walk too good last week. I still can't walk my best this week. But when I went in to see my dermatologist, hallelujah to God, I had a little thing on my body that had grown into a bigger thing on my body. Oh, the reason I couldn't walk too well and still can't is because they had to cut it and do a biopsy. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah for the signs of it are the signs of cancer. The one that killed Bob Marley. But I come to tell you today that even with suitors in my feet, I was praising and believing God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah to God. I, I couldn't run like I wanted to. So I had to jump on one foot. Ah, saints of God, it doesn't matter how bleak your situation is. I dare you to praise God. It was just this week, I believe, I got the report of a negative biopsy. Whose report do you believe? I believe the report of the Lord that is only one reason only one small reason that God has given me and there are so many others yet will I praise God when my back that wasn't the first biopsy <laughs> But God knows he needs somebody 
that's going to praise him. I don't know how much strength that would have. Being on chemo or radiation. Maybe if a few more people would praise him. Hey, Bushata. But he know. I've made up in my mind. <clears throat> no matter what my situation. No matter what my circumstance. For he desires the praise of his people. And Judah, Jesus, who came forth out of the line of Judah, is praise. His people shall praise him. Even if he has to raise up stones. Even if he has to raise up stones. To praise him. Saints. After today. Purpose in your heart. I refuse. To let my situation dictate my praise. For after all, I don't know that God has not magnified my pain, my suffering, my disappointments. So that he can be magnified. Hey, Moshata. All over the building, start giving God some praise. You owe God some praise. Come on and give God praise for everything that he has done in your life. For the many times that he has caused your soul to escape death. Come on and give God praise for the life that he has given you. Come on and give God praise uh, for sanity because some of you uh, could have been a mental wreck. Uh, come on and give God praise. Uh, hallelujah to God uh, for the accidents uh, that you have escaped. Uh, come on and give God praise uh, for the doors uh, that he shut uh, and open up brand new ones. Uh, come on and give God praise. That when you are down and out and in your pit, uh, that God came uh, and he rescued you. Uh, come on and give God praise. Uh, my God, uh, think about uh, where you've been uh, and where God uh, has brought you. Uh, and give God praise. You've got enough to praise him. You have enough to praise him. He's done enough to praise him. He's done enough for you to praise him. He's done enough for you to praise him. Oh, Mashataya. Come on, never again. Ah, Mashata. That you come and act like God owes you. He doesn't owe you anything. My God.